What's up everybody and welcome back to my my time at Porsche playthrough. This is the third episode and I have been enjoying it so much so far and I truly hope that you have been too. If you have not watched the first two episodes, they are linked down below. I will put at least the last episode down there. I highly, highly suggest that you watch it. Uh, if you have not seen any gameplay of this game, I'm kind of going through it from just the beginning. I have a little bit of playtime from uh, a previous, like, I think I put maybe six hours into it. So I'm still pretty, pretty, pretty new at this. But with that being said, if you are liking the content, please remember to hit that subscribe button. And if you like it as well, please hit the like button because it lets me know that you want to see more of this content. With that being said, let's go ahead and get on into episode three. Alrighty, so as you can see, I'm still wearing the same thing and I still look the same from last episode. Um, I'm just recording, it's my day off from streaming, so I'm taking this time to record. But let's go ahead and wake on up. Alright, so like I said, we put this in here so our stamina is kind of up just a little bit, which is nice, that'll help us. My computer's chugging along, y'all. That's something I need to upgrade, we're working on it. If you guys could stop buying all of the GPUs, I would be really happy, thank you. Okay. Hmm, it's sad. Um, we should be able to make... Oh no. We need one more copper ore. Alright, so... I'm going to... Ooh, I forget to check the mail all the time. Hello, I'm always looking out for things that maybe aren't important to the research center, but they still tell a story from the old world. If you find something special, which seems to have a story, please bring it to me. Thanks. Okay, Petra. Alright, so... It's still too early yet to get a commission. That opens up at 8, so while we wait, we're going to go over here. Hopefully these rocks are here. I don't think they are. Oh no. Maybe we won't be getting any today. Oh wait, you. Please give me copper. Please give me copper. Please give me copper. Nice. How much did that give us? Oh, only one. Okay. That's fine. It's not fine, but it's fine. I'm sad. There's one right there. Let me see. Yeah, we only... Oh, that's not at all what I wanted to see. Alright, so we have three copper ores at the moment. Quite frankly, I don't remember how much I need to make um, a bar, so that's exciting. Hello? That was weird. Okay, of course you would give me marble. I mean, that's better than nothing. All right, I don't think there's any more that can be done here. I'm assuming the rocks that I cut yesterday will probably respawn tomorrow. So there might be like a day in between where they don't respawn, I think. Why did I switch? Hello? Oh, is that one right there? Oh, it is. Let's go. And we have a level up. Heck yeah, dude. Alright. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that copper blade one anytime soon. Alright, it's 8.30, so let's go ahead and get us a commission after I do all of this. Gathering is important. Okay. I'm in need of eight charcoal. Please help me fulfill this. I could probably do that. One tea table. Um, three bronze bars. I can't do that right now, but 164, 209. All right, we're gonna do this one. Cause I know I can do the charcoal one, no issue. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay. Now let's talk to Sonia. She's cute. Hello. No, not. I didn't mean you. I'm in a hurry to buy some food for Miss Ginger. Good day. Aw. Goodbye. Wish I was Miss Ginger. I want people to buy me food. Hello. Hello. Watching what trends are in each year is kind of like a hobby for me. Nice. Bye. Bye. Okay. 
Let's see if we can make these copper bars. I'm kind of thinking that we're not going to be able to, but it doesn't hurt to try. Okay, can I make two? Oh, I can only make one, but that's fine. That'll at least get us to build the um, this guy here, right? Yeah, because I need three copper parts. The old parts, I believe, will come from going into the, um, the mines, so... <clears throat> Let's see. I don't know if there's rocks over here. I don't think that there are. But there are twigs. Does not look like it. Man, I wish there was some more rocks. Should I try to maybe go into the... Into the mines today? Or the ruins, I should say. Perhaps. Hmm. Alright, let's sort all. Hmm. We'll bring a salad, because that gives us a lot of stamina. Um, and what do you do? Oh, 10 hit points. We don't need you. Hit points. Mm, restores 10% max stamina. Okay, we'll, we'll take that. I don't know if we can get into there yet, but we're gonna try. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. Hey, neighbor. Do you have a minute? I do. I've been to talk to you. Okay. Sure. What's up? I just got a new craft recipe all the way from Highwind. It's a box that can be used to cultivate crops. Ooh. People in Highwind have been using it for a while now. Oh, we love crops. It's great. Can you build it and test it out for me? If it works as advertised, I'll order a few more off of you. For sure. Thank you. Here's the craft recipe. Thank you, thank and you. There are a few seeds to plant. If you want more seeds, you can buy them from my granny's shop. Try growing them to maturity and show me the harvest. Also, I have a tip for you. Using fertilizer will help increase the harvest. Okay. I'll give you some of that as well. Thank you. All right, let's learn this. Sweet. All right. Let's see about getting into this. I think I have enough. I don't remember if it's 200 or 500 to get into the mine. So let's see what we can do. Hey there. First time ruin diving? Yes. Yep. Alrighty, let me explain then. All the ruins in the Alliance of Free Cities are regulated by the Civil Corps. To enter the ruins, you'll need to pay a weekly maintenance fee. But we'll give you a 60% discount the first time. Okay. When you enter, I'll give you the jetpack and scanner. Very handy ancient relics. Mine in for resources becomes a lot easier when you have these equipped. When you come out, we'll need them back since they're very rare. Well, thank you this for allowing me to have them. <laughs> the moon. No monsters or robots in there, just resources and relics like power stones. Anything you find in the ruins are yours to keep. Unless they're ancient weapons, then we're supposed to hand them over to the church for destruction. I don't like that. Okay, I'm done. Have I would like to keep the weapons. Oh, it's only 80 gold. Oh, let's go. I thought it was so much more than that. 80 is nothing. That's a lot of money, actually. Okay, aim the reticle. At the position you want to dig, select the pick or drill tool. Press the key to the relic scanner. Nearby relics will show up. Align the reticle on the globe of light for a few moments to detect the lock and lock onto the position of the relic. Press the key again to close the scanner. Press and hold the space bar to fire the jetpack and then use the movement controls to move around. Open the map and press E to escape. All right. Let's go. Let's see what we can find in here. All right, so F. Okay. Looks like it's like right here. Now we're getting some copper. Ooh, old thermos piece. Oh, 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 oh. Hello? Why does it do this? There we go. Alrighty. I guess we'll go this way. Ooh, right there in front of us. Lucky. I 
I can't wait to start getting into like PVMing in here. It's fun. Okay, monument model piece. All right, I believe this is, yeah, this gives me copper and tin, which will allow me to make bronze, which is importante. Ooh, okay, never ending. Let's go. I'm gonna be able to make all the freaking copper. Let's go. Ooh, we got a data disk, okay. All right, I feel like I should perhaps focus on some other stuff. All right, let's go over here. Ooh, there's two right here. Okay. That's not where I wanted to go. So this is really nice. Sometimes there's like a little circle. If you stand in there and you just dig straight down, it'll be right under you and not throw your mouse. Sorry. All right, galloping horse piece. Oops. All right, so if I just, and then I just push up. Don't need to push the direction. All right, and then if I remember correctly, it should be like right there. Nice. I like that you don't take fall damage if you jump down. We got a small engine, okay. All right, let's see if we can find anything else. Ooh, right there. All right, we still have a good amount of stamina left, so that's good. So do you guys play this game or have you ever played it or if you're here just kind of watching to see what's up? I actually was gifted it uh, by a friend and I have recently begun kind of um, variety streaming on Twitch again. I streamed only RuneScape for a bit um, as I went for partner, then I finally made partner and the nice thing about that is I can finally start to again just play other games and such. I love RuneScape but you know. It's nice to switch it up every once in a while. And so I played this and fell in love with it. And I was like, hey, since I'm trying to do a bit more of the YouTube stuff, maybe, just maybe, I can go ahead and also kind of put some other stuff other than RuneScape on there. <laughs> because again, I don't only play RuneScape, so. All right, let's see. All right, nothing around here. I don't know. Did I go? I don't think I, I'm... Yeah, I think I went that way. I don't know. I can't... Oh, yeah, I didn't come over here. All right. Or did I? Oh, I did not. There's a plane going by right now. Sorry if you guys can hear that. Oh, we got ourselves a power stone. Nice. I was told that in the future, those are going to, like, really be needed. So the more of them you have, the better. So... See if I can break into something. Oh, we're just about out. Okay, all right. So map, exit. Well, not exit, but take us to the beginning. And then we will head home. And we'll pop another thing in here. Let's see, five. So that gives us some more stamina, so we can not have to go to sleep at one o'clock in the afternoon. All right, hello. Oh, hi there. Hi. Are you new here? I'm Nora. I'm a missionary at the Church of the Light. Nice to meet you. Minister Lee still preaches. I think he will devote his entire life to the Church of Light. Good for him. All right, let's talk to him. Good day, Gilda. Oh dear, a data disk. You know what this is? Of course, this is what the ancients used to store information on their technology. The ancients. The age of corruption. It is highly dangerous. I can't wait to find out what this is all about. This little item here could contain the blueprint for Armageddon. It can't be that bad, right? <laughs> You're what, 18, 19? The Age of Darkness is probably just another fairy tale story to you, right? Hmm. When I was young, my great-grandma shared her first-hand account of the time before Peach. 
the time when folks lived in ruins underground. She went days without food. Everybody fought each other over the most basic of things. And people were considered old if they managed to live to 30. And it was always, always dark. Hmm. Imagine that. Because that's what the end of the world looked like. That situation was created by the very same sort of dark technologies stored inside this little disc. I don't think so. Anyhow, I'm not trying to scare you, but it's the reality of your builder business. Dangerous technologies are spread all over the world, waiting to be stumbled upon and rediscovered. Places like the research center and cities like Vega 5 oh, man. Like the recovery. Calamity will strike again. Mark my words. Okay, Doomsayer. So, it's a priority of the church to seek out and destroy all the data disks and other dangerous relics. With help from ruin divers such as yourself, of course. So, I can give this to you? Yes, yes, that's right. The church will reward you handsomely for your efforts. We have in our possessions a vast amount of green technology learned through the ages. Wait a minute, I know that look. The church isn't against the use of good technology that can bring telesis to our society. We're only against dangerous technology. What kind of green technology? Mm. Mostly special seeds. You'll see. We can share what we have with you as you bring us more discs. Oh, man. You do know how to plant <laughs> crops, right? Oh, man. Okay, great. Here. I'll take that disc and give you some seeds to get you started. Church or science? More discs, science, I think, but I don't seeds. know. You'll be doing this world a great service. I feel like the seeds aren't worth it. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right. Well, I feel like I just got swindled. <laughs> it's fine. All right. Let's make some more capper bears. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do, but okay. All right, crafts. One, two, three. Okay. Um, oh, that means that I have the three bars that I require. Um, sort all. Yup. I feel like I should... Uh, I think I have to hold on to... The oh, we have old parts now, too. Let's go. All right, we can fix this. Or finish it, I should say. Forgot that I got the old parts. All right, nice. Sweet. Okay, so those copper bars are being made. Um, what else is there in here that we need to make? We have the grinder. Probably should make the civil cutter. Um, basic skiver, we'll need that. Everything else we don't have to worry about just yet. All right, so we'll start the civil cutter. All right, so we need stone brick, or I should look here. Stone brick and copper blade, okay. Um, oh, we need to build the things. All right, for, let's see, sorry. All right, we need animal feces and wooden board, which I will not be able to do until we make this. All right, so let's get some more wood. Um, here soon we will be able to make a pickaxe, or an ax I should say, that will be able to cut down the big boys over here, which will give us the wood that we need to be able to make the, the wooden planks, so. Oh, okay, let's go. Just leveled up. I feel like you can never have enough wood in this game. Okay, so we'll go in here. All right, so we have two skill points. Um, obviously, we'll pick that up. What is this? Smooth talk, a 20% chance to re... Okay. Increase the workshop points by one and rewards by 5% after completing each commission. Yup. Cool. All right, let's see if we can kick these trees, though. 
I mean, I know I can kick the trees, so I'm gonna kick the trees. We're gonna kick them. And use up all of our, uh... Oh man, I can't wait to get more um, stamina points. Alright. That'll do. I'm glad that this thing doesn't like reduce actual stamina. That it's just like a stamina kind of of its own. Because that would be frustrating. Okay, um... So beginner fishing rod, we need a cocoon and a copper bar. This we need, that's right. Uh, let's see if we can find some animal feces. Oh, I only have one stamina left. Let me see if I have any food. Oh wait, if I sit down, will that allow me to restore stamina? I don't know if that works or not. We'll try it out. Because if so, that'll help a lot. <laughs> let's see. Okay, so just a little bit, it looks like. Or no? Because I had one stamina, didn't I? Yeah, okay, nice. Alright, so this will slowly make my stamina go up. Slowly. But again, any amount of stamina is better than none, so... Alright, I think that's all we can get from it, or will it just continue to go? Oh no, it'll continue to go, okay. We're not going to stay here the whole time, though. We, I'm not going to do that to you guys. I would on stream, because that's just me. Okay, cool. Oh, I need to make charcoal. Oh boy, I forgot about the charcoal. That's fine. All right, I need stinky poop. Give me some stinky poop. No stinky poop? Come on, guys. Why are they not poop? Are you taking my poop? Oaks. Hi, -o. Hi. You must be the person the mayor was talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of simple, but I hope we can be friends. Okay. When I first came to Portia, I thought it to be a strange place, but now it just feels like home. I like what he's wearing. Why is there no poop? Can you guys poop, please? I've never wanted something to poop so much in my life. It's, it's weird. Oh, they're sleeping. Okay, I'm sorry. I will not disturb you. All right, maybe there's poop over here. Hello? Oh my god, they're so cute. I want a little plushie of these. Like, how cute are they? I guess no poop for us today. All right, that's fine. We have a whopping one stamina point left. We'll just gather some twigs. Oh, I guess I can't. I need more than one stamina for that. All right, well, while we're here. I really want to travel to other cities to get This doesn't count as any sort of stamina, so why not, right? Hello there, Gail. Hey. Hi. All right. You should get to know some of the people living in this town for your own benefit. I made a oh. list of the store owners within the city. Guess wall. I was ahead of things here. Introduce yourself. Okay. All right. We'll go into here. Oh, you're Albert. You're fine. If you're in need of a house or workshop upgrades, this is the place to be. All you need to do is select a plan from the catalog book in our company. Nice. All right. Um, you're all I need to meet in here. I think. And then I think we go up to the cafe. Oh, nope. We go to you. Hello there. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. I mean, it's nice. Oh, a new builder. Always nice to see young folks moving in. Yeah. If you need refreshments, I'm your man. Okay. Try this. It's on me this time. Oh, let's go. Oh, I don't have enough space in my inventory. Nice. How much do you cost? 400 gold? Yeah. All right, he gave me my juice. Sweet. 
Well, there goes all my goals. That's fine. little jingle is like super catchy. <laughs> okay. Hi, I require to speak to you. Welcome, smallish builder. I sell furniture here at my store. So if you have any need for manly decors, you know where to find me. Okay. And since I'm so manly, I'm going to give you this to get you started. We got us some hardwood. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> nice to have you. If you need tools, oh, open, boy. you can come to my shop. I've got the best <laughs> selection around these parts. Now, very happily nice happy gift. that Go the manly man gave me his hardwood. Don't. Thank you. Welcome to our little town. Hope you have a wonderful time. My store sells clothing and costumes, so if you ever need to upgrade your armor or suit for a date, come see me. Now you look like a nice kid, so I'm going to give you something for free as a leg up. Thank you. Don't tell my husband though. Oh, I'm gonna tell him. I don't keep secrets. Bet. All right. Oh no, the sun is setting. Must hurry. Ah. Where am I going? I'm going the wrong way, guys. Uh oh. Nope, up here. <laughs> My sense of direction is horrific. Oh, thank God. Oh, I was so nervous. Oh, it's not in here that I needed to go? Oh, come on. Shucks. Sorry. Okay, well I guess oh there you are. Hi. Hey, welcome to Portia. I'm pretty much See, he says Portia, around, so not Portia. It's so confusing. Oh, look at this pretty sky. That's really pretty. I love pink. I'm a little biased in that sense. Like if everything was pink and purple, man, I would be so excited. What do we have here? Oh, do you know what it is? You want to know? This is actually related to how you can discover new diagrams for your workshop handbook. Yup. We rely on relic components from the past to build a lot of our current constructs. Many relics in this world are beyond our current understanding and you won't be able to build them. Not even in a hundred years. That's where this data disk comes in. Let's go. These data disks are located all around the world. They hold lots of useful information on the old relics. If you find any, give them to us and we'll help you research into these relics. Easy peasy. We're not miracle workers, so don't expect us to come up with things from scratch, but we do know a thing or two about how the components should fit together. Anyway, just remember that if you find any data disks, bring them in. Will do. Bring me this time. Ah, oh, this must be a piece of a relic. You can use our recovery. I, I didn't mean to start this, but okay. Restore it to its original shape. It'll take data disks, but it should be pretty fast. Have fun. Woohoo! Ooh, we gained some experience. Alrighty, so we are gonna go home and go to sleep, which means that we're coming up on the end of the episode. Um, this has been an eventful one, I would say. Definitely getting to some, like, you know, we're doing a bit better. I'm hoping tomorrow there'll be some stuff done that we can kind of keep on with, and I need to start possibly upgrading my um, weapons and everything, so we will, well not weapons, but tools as well. Uh, but yeah, so with that being said, everybody, thank you so much for hanging out with me in this episode. Um, it was a lot of fun, and I look forward to seeing you in episode four. So have a lovely night or day, and if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the like button to let me know that you are enjoying this content, and I will see you later. Bye, guys!